This week's Future Bell has to do with the U.S. Supreme Court. These nine old people are kind of a big deal and are tasked with interpreting our nation's laws. I'm going to tell you about how this bill, S-1424, would affect the way they do business. I'm Liz Adams, here to bring you this week's Countable Update. The U.S. Constitution, the one that Nick Cage tried to steal, lays out a system of three branches of government that are meant to keep each other in check when one of them gets too rowdy. You may have noticed, though, sometimes things don't go according to plan when it comes to the government. So this bill proposes a code of ethics for the Supreme Court to use. You would think they would already have one, but they don't. Every other federal judge abides by the code of conduct for United States judges, but the Supreme Court technically doesn't have anything like that. This bill would hold SCOTUS to the same ethical standards that all the other guys follow. So what kind of stuff is in this code of conduct? Well, first of all, judges aren't supposed to participate in partisan political events or groups, but word on the street is Scalia, Thomas, and Alito have all been spotted out and about at some of these soirees. Specifically, a Coke Industries fundraising event shortly following the Citizens United case that made people all crazy. If you're not familiar with the case, it's the one from a few years ago where the Supreme Court ruled in favor of the Koch brothers and their right to donate lots and lots of money to conservative candidates. It's not just the conservatives, though. Justice Elena Kagan has been criticized for her involvement in the Obamacare case because she was Solicitor General in the Obama administration when the Affordable Care Act passed. These rules would force the judges to recuse themselves if there are conflicts of interest like how Justice Clarence Thomas is married to a prominent Tea Party political consultant. Just saying. So, no surprise here, the court is not a huge fan of this idea. Chief Justice Roberts has said he doesn't believe they need an official code of ethics because they already consult the code of conduct for U.S. judges. I'm definitely curious to see if this code gets implemented and how it may change the way the Supreme Court functions. What do you think? Does the Supreme Court need an official rule book, or are they doing okay as it is? Let your representative know how to vote on the Countable website, and let us know how you feel about the topic in the comments below. Don't forget to share and subscribe if you like this video, and let us know what other kinds of stuff you'd like to see on this channel. For more information about Countable, visit our website at countable.us.